actually work together with that science. That science is going to be key because if we if we ignore that science and sort of put our head in the sand and think it's all about vegetation management, we're not going to succeed together protecting Californians. Okay. It'll start getting cooler. I you wish just, you just watch. I wish science agreed with you. <laughs> hey, well, I don't think science knows actually. Tom, please. So, Mr. President, if you if you are okay, I'd like to approach the map. And yeah, wait. I'd love that. Okay. Thank you. And Go ahead. Governor Good. That's great. Thanks, Chief. So, on my way, I'll just reiterate. Yellow is all private land, and then that 3%, you can't really see it scattered out here, that's the state lands. But what we have showing here is the ownership and then the fires that we're currently fighting, all the way from down up near the Mexican border, within eight miles of the ex Mexican border, all the way into Oregon. So we've got a thousand miles spread between these fires. We have about, in order to put line around these fires with all the partnership we're talking about, we have to cut line, scrape line in the ground from here to Chicago. So it's a lot of dirt we have to move. But and why is that? Why, why are you doing that? You, you have to put a, a line between the green and the black in order to put a fire out. Really? We do. So what we're seeing is in the south here, in around 2000, we had beetle kill that, that, that caused large fires, the Cedar Fire, the Old Fire right. in Grand Prix, huge fires in 2000, 2010s through the 15 time, massive beetle kill in this area, and large fires throughout. Well, those trees have died anyway? They, they died from the beetle kill. From beetles, from, from drought. So they were largely dead, or the area was largely dead in terms of the so trees? They, they, were di they, they died from the beetle kill, and then and now, now they're being burned up by the fires. Now we're also seeing in, here's the red Do you view that differently? When the trees are dead and the whole area, because I know the beetle kill has been terrible. Yes. So do you view that differently? And now you're going to be clearing it or doing whatever you're going to do? 100, 163 million. So it's, yeah. uh, boy, it's a, no, a it's hell something. of a job, right, to, to start clearing that out. Yeah. So we focus but those trees are dead, and therefore they're very flammable. They're explosive. They are. Yeah. They are. And so then we have what I'll call the asbestos forest, the redwood region. It doesn't burn more than a few hundred acres on, on occasion. With this year, we have 85,000 plus almost 60,000 plus these fires are getting into Redwood as well. We're gonna have over So why is, not, because of the thickness, the power of the tree, why why aren't they burning? They're, they have they have bark that's about two feet thick. And they're very and wet. they're very much, they're very wet, they're very resilient to fire. Uh, so are you losing good. some Redwoods or? Or almost Some none. redwoods are dying, but most of them will be okay. It's everything else that's getting. No kidding. Better. That's something I never heard that before. So with time they could go, but but the fact is they don't they don't go with the fires. That's a fantastic. So, yeah, and they're two thousand years old in that area. That is so incredible. Huh? It's incredible think, to see. Think of that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's kind of the landscape. So your giant there. redwoods are where? What area? The giant redwoods. So we have we have. Coastal redwoods, and then we have giant sequoia, which is, they're, they're the biggest girth of a tree. And they're in good shape. They're getting burned, but they will also survive. Those, those ancient trees will survive. But this fire down here, the, the SQF complex is- Will the bark regenerate on the outside eventually? The, the bark will continue to, to accumulate on the outside, and then the, the tree will continue to survive. Do you see a big difference? Yes. You see, will that change with time? Well, you don't see it? Or will you always know there was a fire there? You'll always know there was a fire. You'll always know. They, On the Redwoods. They, have, they, have, they get scars yeah. over time. That's how we can tell. Well, that in there. itself is a shame when you think, right? Oh, boy. That in itself is a shame. So that's an incredible story. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Mark, would you like to say something? Well, uh, Mr. President, first of all, thanks for being here. Um, the term I use here is, is, is a term I use, one team, one fight, and it really does represent everything that that you're you're seeing today all the agencies that that we're working with before during and then after these disasters occur I couldn't be more pleased our partnership with FEMA has been fantastic 
Um, right now, you know, as you mentioned, you've provided uh, a major disaster for uh, 11 counties within the state, different categories, and many of the people who have lost things have already started to register with FEMA, and that's been really a, a beneficial support right, to us. Right. So we appreciate that. Um, and the mitigation is really, really critical. Um, uh, you know, since 2017, we've done 94 projects, about $138 million worth of mitigation focused on fire prevention. Uh, it's a whole variety of different kinds of projects and programs within the wildland and people, what we call the WUI, the Wildland Urban Interface, uh, to try to buy down the, the uh, amount of impacts that these fires are occurring. And so we really appreciate that. All these new fires and this new declaration uh, provides additional mitigation funds, which we will turn back around and, and continue to uh, support the mitigation. How many efforts. individual fires do you have? I think we have right now actively about 29 major fires. So right? when you add them all up, uh, this is about as big as it's ever been, right? Yeah, I mean, well, 1,100 just just since, I mean, think about that, 1,100 yeah. fire starts in the last 29 days but 29 complexes. So we the all put them out. Have. Most of them are put out. Many, making tremendous progress. The largest, the three largest, they're still active. Two of them are substantially contained. Yeah. The August, we have still a lot of work to do. And Governor, if I could, just for the president, uh, this is a bar chart that shows the uh, acreage burned over the years. Top bar is this year. And the real scary part, Mr. President, is we're only partway through the season. Fire that you obviously visited, the Paradise Fire, happened in October. One. So we're still, you know, staring down the barrel of, of worse fires potentially this we year. We were there together. Let me ask you in Paradise. So did they have? It was like a blowtorch, right? Because the winds are 85 miles an hour. Nobody's ever seen anything like that. So that was different. Has there ever been anything like that in terms of the power? It could be argued you had a narrow escape. A more pliable female might better suit. There will be no other female. So justice has been done. Who I'm speaking for today, uh, I, I want to thank you for your visit. Beginning on September 4th, our creek fire started. It imp impacted not only the residents, but utility infrastructure that services California. That's right. That's yes. right. That's a big problem, isn't it, huh? Thank how you. is that? How is that going? Progress. We got the largest utility in the United States, PG&E, out of bankruptcy in, in record time with good firm commitments to make sure good. we never walk back down that path. Good. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of utilities that are burning up, though. Yeah. Go ahead. So our our fire right now is over two hundred thousand acres, um, and it's really more than any single local government can take care of. And so we are uh, asking for assistance. And we've already made some progress today by uh, getting a hold of FEMA. And I made a request for from Pete to have a representative right in our command post, and we're making that happen. So that's going to be very valuable for us. Uh, not only has it impacted um, our woodland, but the families that have lived there for generations in, in that area. The Big Creek hydroelectric power generating system that served California for over 100 years is, is destroyed, as well as the people that live there in, the, in their homes that operate that system. One major concern in the future is erosion, slope stability, ash runoff, and possible mudslides as a So what's going to take the place of that generator? What what are you going to do? Uh, we have to actually restart it. It's Southern California Edison. Yeah. So you'll be able to fix it and restart it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, the process. It's a big damage. Uh, big. Well, it was a hydroelectric plant that was um, that was uh, uh, wasn't directly damaged, but there was there was damage leading up to the facility. I see. And so we'll mitigate all that. Now. I love hydro. Hydroelectric, I love. I think it's great. You must like that. I love. I love the hydroelectric. Go ahead, please. So, so far we've had over 300 structures that have burned, but we could have had many more. And I need to commend the uh, efforts that Cal Fire gave to us, not only with pre-work uh, by doing some um, tree mortality mitigation, right. but during that fire they were able to cut some breaks that allowed law, us, law enforcement, to evacuate over 20,000 people from these areas. Uh, and so they just did a great job, and, and I'm, I am glad to report that in Fresno County, we've had no loss of life. 
Right. Um, in, I will say that in Fresno County, we, we understand that we need a strong partnership with our federal government, and we are ready, willing, and able to be your partner on this. We support. Um, and your state government. At, of right? course. Of course. That's going good, right? Of course. At, it, we're getting what we need. I have no need. doubt. Good. In fact, no, we had to mention that. <laughs> of the areas that we, we've <laughs> mitigated, I think in Fresno County, we got five of those. So, so you're working well you. with everybody? Yes. Okay? Yes. Good. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Please. Thank you, Mr. President, for on. Thank you, Mr. President, for being here and listening to uh, a very rural community or, and county in, in uh, California. I'm at the, very, the far extreme end of the state up there where they were pointing to. Uh, my county uh, continues to repeat the things that you saw in Paradise when you were there on a smaller scale. The town of Happy Camp this year is under the Slater fire that took off and in a 24-hour period we lost uh, 258 structures in a very small town. Half of my population is displaced at this point in time. We have uh, 158 homes completely destroyed. Will that population come back? Sir, that's a tough question because these are very poor people anyway, and um, they're living through the downturn of the timber economy at this point, and there's very low employment uh, in this area. We uh, are completely surrounded by federal timber uh, at this point that uh, needs some active forest management that would both improve the, the, econ the economy of the area as well as uh, even increase the water flow uh, that is in shortage in California in some of these places. I, you know, personally, I'm coming to you as a forester, uh, elected official, and a past land manager for the U.S. Forest Service and firefighter. Right. Um, in this area, I've worked with UC Berkeley and UC, Dave, and, uh, UC uh, Merced on some studies. Our forests uh, in the northern region, which historically have been uh, pretty asbestos-like, uh, are carrying four times the density that they did in 1930. So we have both the uh, increase in brush in the wildland interface, as well as the lack of management producing these extreme densities. And um, climate, climate change is... It, climate changes, and I, I can't do much about that. As a, as a forester actively managing that forest, I can manipulate fuels, and I can do that in a pretty short order. I applaud you for the work you've done. I applaud you for the, the Farm Bill authorities. Our county just completed a master stewardship agreement with the U.S. Forest Service, and um, we have about a half million acre project that's ready to go uh, across all boundaries in our state and, and, and the four national forests that you within Well, our Gavin's boundary. working on that with me, and uh, we, uh, you know, you make money too. You, you're cutting down trees, you're thinning it out, and you're selling those trees for a lot of money, and it's really pretty good in a lot of ways. And I guess the one of the things are the cuts, the big, whether it's 50 yards or 100 yards, but the cuts to stop it from spreading. And that's always tough environmentally, but, you know, they can do it in a way that's pretty good. And I think now the environmentalists have come a long way after watch, you know, watching this. Yeah. The ones that really want to take care of a problem, they've come a long way. So sure. they'll be thinning it out, then you're working on a plan to thin it out. Uh, that's what the plan is right now. I, I will say that, um, <clears throat> you know, we have uh, excellent working relationship with CAL FIRE as well. Good. And uh, we, need, we need to marry the state programs with the federal programs uh, across boundaries and jurisdictional boundaries so that we're effective in moderating large fire behavior. Good. And, and Mr. President, just to, to the supervisor's point, that's exactly what the stewardship partnership that we advance with your administrations do, will do in the next Good. 20 years, is we're sharing maps, we're sharing resources, we're prioritizing, we're doubling the, the number of acres, federally managed, state managed, and I will say just uh, humbly, we've got to double it still, meaning the partnership was significant. It was first uh, in California's history with the U.S. government, but we're going to need to do a lot more yeah. well, in the extent we can provide That's something support. I feel so strongly about. You can, yeah. you can knock this down to nothing. You know, you go to Europe and different places in Europe, countries where they're forest countries, and uh, they're very, very strong on management, and they don't have a problem. They really right. don't have, with, as they say, more explosive trees than we have in California. So. Thank you very much for your comments. But we're working on that very hard together, and uh, I think we're totally in sync. I really think we're totally in sync. Governor? We're going to see you in uh, a few minutes for the award ceremony. 
So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead, please. Governor, if I could just 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 briefly.